I'm going to try Monokuma File 4 on what um, uh, he, he's saying. Let's see. Hurry up, dumbass. Uh, body of the Towers is a dummy. Fuck. Okay, so that was wrong, too. Fuck. Uh, okay, okay. This doesn't seem like it's too hard. I just don't know what answer it's looking for. Good night button? Oh, what is it? What's the description? Yeah, let's see. Button on the back of the neck, when it's pressed, his functions cease and he's forced to enter sleep mode. I just feel like that's going to be more important for a later clue. So I don't think that one there. Wire, let's look at wire. Tip of that wire is tied into a loop. If it's the wire, it just seems like it'd be easy enough for somebody to say the wire could have been duplicated. Uh, tipped over pillar. Hmm. And two people can budget. That doesn't have anything to do with either of what they were saying, though. Chain. Chain around is locked on the door. For some reason, killer is able to enter the tower from Strawberry Hall. I don't think that has to do with those either. Um, I think that was everything. Oh, broken doorknob. Let's see. Scratch marks on the doorknob. One of the doorknobs from the far back of the strawberry house was missing, so this doorknob was originally attached to that door. That doesn't seem like it'd have anything to do with this either. Shit. Oh, and strange feeling in the tower. Hmm. Shit. Oh my god, it seems like it's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Since there are two options... Wait, but I couldn't agree with... Like, I couldn't absorb these arguments, could I? Can I only absorb... Oh, no, I can. Okay. I need a fake body. So maybe I shoot this dummy. Uh, fuck. Nope, okay. Maybe it's the other way around. Mechanical body against what he's saying. I have 37 seconds. I guess it doesn't matter, because, like, even if I fail, I get to start over again. Okay, okay let me borrow that. Okay, we got mechanical body. Let's cycle through again. Do I even have enough time? I don't. I don't have enough time. I've got a second and a half. Why do they talk so long? Okay, so I just need to start it over again. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, Monokuma. Uh, it's no use. Everyone thinks it's me for some stupid reason. But I had five and a half minutes on this, and I still fucked up so bad. Did we read all the options that we have? We did, we did. Did you look it up and see that it is one of the options that we have? No, I'm just kind of thinking like... Ah, oh, fuck. It wasn't that. I'm wondering. Yeah. So, okay, but... I don't see any connection. I don't either. So, and this happened before with the stupid swimsuit and flail weapon. So what <laughs> barely... Let's just try wire. Let's try wire on everything. Honestly, like I said, we could probably face tank this one since we're so few options. Try wire on what Gundam says next. Grab some fucking scraps while I can. Is it? Golly, your hamsters. What? But it's just adding time. We're going to lose health anyways. Uh, it's fine if we lose a bit of health. I mean, either way, it's like we're just going to lose one way or not. So that's not it either. So it's definitely not wire. Hmm. Man. Always comes down to one of the fucking questions is like this. Uh, good night button doesn't make sense. Monokuma file, we tried on both options already. I think. I hope we're done. No. Strange feeling in the tower. Uh, strange feeling in the tower. I don't know. <laughs> Fuck me. God damn Why? It. Why? <laughs> because it's like, I guess... When we were reading it, saying that, like, it was all in the exact same place. So I, I guess... I we already proved it, too, with the oil on the floor. Yeah, but I think the whole thing here is it being, like, Kazuichi saying, like, two different floors, so there's a dummy set in place and a different one. That clue there is kind of implying that, like, no, it is the exact same floor. Like, that's why it's, um, acting like it's, uh fucking rotated i don't think oh, whatever i it, it kind of makes sense it just i kinda. don't know <laughs> that could be proven kai kazuichi's account but, me but we didn't use kazuichi's account oh hey me when we moved from great tower to strawberry tower we thought the body had moved and that's when you said god i wish i could get fucked 
<laughs> right up until that moment, you were just assembling Nakamura's body at Grape's Tower, right? <coughs> the killer could have known how you take apart his body, so they could have built a dummy. Oh, yeah. Makes sense. But it's still, like, that it ties into that clue that we use. Kind of, why didn't we use Kazuichi's account, that other clue that we have? <laughs> Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would- Wait, what? <laughs> I got the voices mixed up so hard. <laughs> Unless Kazuichi was the one who built the dummy, then it would be a different story. <laughs> and it's, uh, yeah, that's a pretty harsh joke, especially when you steal the way my voice sounds. Bitch. You are joking, right? It's alright, Kazuichi's not the killer. He doesn't have the gumption. To do something as complicated as this. If he was, he wouldn't have fixed the elevator or the button in Strawberry Hall. It'd be much more convenient for the killer if it stayed broken. I see, so that is disappointing. I'm even more disappointed. However, even if Nakamura's body wasn't a dummy, it's meaningless if we don't have the important answer. The reason Nakamura's body was built towers, even though it was supposed to be on different floors. Maybe it was simply moved? The body moved to a different floor, but we already argued against that. <laughs> you can't think of a device like that. A device that moves things to different floors in the same building. That is the most patronizing thing to say. It's like, she's just talking about an elevator, but she's like, you can't think of a device like that? Something that moves things from one floor to another floor in the same building? That's just an insult, and Hajime doesn't understand. What is an elevator? A device that transports things to different floors of the same building. <laughs> what? Huh, I feel like I've seen that before. Where could it have been? What the fuck? Hajime, are you doing a logic dive for this? I don't know, it's the fucking word scramble. Oh, it's gonna be easy, because I already know the fucking word. Hangman's Gambit. Oh, fuck with the buttons. Oh, no. Uh, okay, what is this? Okay, so that's the collect button. Oh yeah, and then why to get- oh fuck, oh whoops. Okay, why is to put it in place? How do I like just destroy it? <laughs> you put it in front of it. I know, but oh, oh, it's just A again. Okay, okay, there we go. Okay, I got this. Who elevator? It's gonna <laughs> give me no- oh no, there it is. You're uh, still traumatized with like meat skewer or something <laughs> like that? Bone on the meat. <laughs> that was one of the fucking best. I have not rewatched this series yet, but god, I want to just to get to that point. Oh fuck, I'm hitting the wrong buttons all over the place. I'm losing health like a motherfucker. Alright, alright, we got this. Well, he's already said elevator like one to a time. God! <laughs> <laughs> I'm hitting buttons like a fucking goofball, hold on, we... I'm just trying to make it intense. Okay. Yeah, it's like, why is he having such a hard time thinking of the word elevator right now? Oh, there we go. There we go. I got the word with the elevator! Yay! Good job, Hajime. You must be talking about an elevator! Everyone looks at him at the same time like it took you that long. <laughs> God damn it, Gundam. There's a thing called an elevator? What is that? Where the what the hell is this elevator anyway? What are you talking about? <laughs> Inside of the tires one big elevator. <laughs> He's like crying. <laughs> Uh. Oh, I guess they didn't. Wait, no. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, this makes sense to me. There's like one fake door that, like. But they, no, but they didn't realize it. Yeah, I yeah, yeah. Because. Okay. But I still don't understand why the um, elevator, like the one that they use all the time to go back and forth between, like, into that main room, the other elevator, uh, why it would say that they went at 180 degrees. Because that still weirds me out with the compass. Don't make no shame. So whether you enter from Strawberry Hall or Grape Hall, it all leads to the same room. What the fuck? So that's why we can only enter the room one side or the other. Now that you mention it, it took a while for it to open. 
Uh, see, so we were basically waiting for the room to arrive, just like a uh, uh, ele ele elevator. Please hold on, just about there. If the ins wait, if the, the, the inside of the whole tower ascends and descends like an elevator. Then why is there a picture of a strawberry on the far back door when you enter from Grape Tower? And a picture of a grape on the far back door when you enter from Strawberry Tower? To be misleading, huh? Fucking, what do you want, Sonia? <laughs> if the room just moves up and down like an elevator, there's no reason for the doors to change. Plus, after the incident, the far back door and Grape Tower had chains wrapped around it, right? But when we entered Strawberry Tower, those chains were gone. Not just that, but if I remember correctly, even the doorknob was broken off. There are too many strange things. Was that tower already an elevator? When you see people on things, make sure you focus on the good parts instead of the bad. Wait, what? What did you say? Let's put aside what's changed and focus our attention on what hasn't. Uh, the dead body. Why do we have to do that? It's fine. Come on. Why does everything that hasn't changed have in common? A dead body. The things that didn't change when we moved between the two towers. Um... Uh, the body, the pillar, the oil. We've been talking about that stuff for a while. So what else doesn't change? Oh, the picture on the floor. Although, no, it did change, because I think she has a strawberry in one and grapes in the other. There shouldn't be anything strange about them, not even the fact that they all moved to the elevator. So the door handle was on the opposite side still? Oh, yeah, they yeah. All on the floor. Yeah. There, they were all Nekomaru's parts. The one thing that uh, these all have in common. Pillar. Well, the oh. pillar wasn't a part. They're all huge. They're all on the floor. Uh, say they were all on the floor. Like that's yeah. Yeah, Solka. All the items on the floor didn't change. It just feels like a non-answer, though, because, like... An elevator. Like, what else was... Like, there wasn't anything on the walls that would have mattered. Or I guess the door mm -hmm. chain, or whatever. <laughs> and... And... You thought you said the right answer? Well, you were wrong. Why did the picture of the far back door change? If you can figure that out, you'll have the answer. Just tell me! It's just to be misleading. Also, yeah, we're trying to fucking solve a murder so that we don't all die, Chiaki. We don't have time to be coy. That elevator has something unique about it. Does it rotate? But then if it, if it rotated... Oh, wait, there's no ceiling, um, I guess. You can only enter one side at a time. It's an enormous circle. Only the floor moves. I mean, you can only enter one side. as unique, I guess. Oh, no, I think I get, only the floor moves kind of makes sense because, like, you know, if it's an elevator, usually the walls are going up with you. Oh. Uh, that's what's be, that's why they're making so. Oh, I have 15 seconds again. <laughs> it always comes down to that. Only the floor moves. See, I was just thinking of that as, like, so obvious that I didn't think they were trying to make, like, a whole fucking case about it. It's like, mm. well, yeah, it's like, why why are they arguing how the door changes? It's just misleading. Only the floor moved. Even this diagram implies that it's like only the floor that's moving. Which means that the whole room was in an elevator, only the floor was. That's why we all saw different doors in each tower. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you th did, they, did they think the door moved with the elevator? Yeah, that's yeah, that's why it was so oh. like misleading, because they're making yeah. this whole big stink about it, and it's like, well, but we already know like that it can it has to just be the floor, but they're like, but the elevator has to be a womb. Even if the ceiling moved, that'll be fine. Yeah, because the door like whatever. Yeah, yeah, he's goofy. Which means on the first floor of Grape Tower, the door on the far back wall had a strawberry design. And on the fourth floor, which was Strawberry Tower, a different door on the far back had a grape design. Yeah. 
What the fuck? And where do the different floors lead? What do you fucking think, Hakane? They go to these fucking rooms. Stupid. Oh, wait, well, she's I... talking about those toys. Whoops. I want to say they lead outside, but they're probably just for show. Yeah, they're there to be misleading. Just for sure. Why was something like that necessary? If we... we also believe that the doors are connected to where the pictures signified. It was actually very effective. Because of that, we totally misunderstood the building structure. I don't get it, but I guess it means whoever designed this building had a totally twisted personality. Did you hear that, Monami? Don't oh, blame this on me. Take responsibility for yourself. And I'll take responsibility and gently caress you. Swoon. Like, there's no way that's gonna happen. Stop with the tasteless jokes. By the way, what does the chain on the far back door in Grape Tower mean? It was probably wrapped there by the killer to keep us as far from Strawberry Tower as possible. What? Because of that chain, you guys thought you couldn't enter there, right? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Hold on! Hold it! If you don't repair the button, what's going to happen to the Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hostel. He has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. You silly billy bitch. Even if you fix the button on the Strawberry Hall side, that door won't open as long as the chain's there. You don't need to worry about that at all. Stupid. Huh? The killer is trying to try stay away from the Strawberry Tower. Yeah. Everything was done to tamper with the evidence so that we wouldn't find out about the secret of the funhouse. The appearance of a body in the tower would contradict what we thought we knew about the building. In that situation, if we had gone to Strawberry Tower, we'd have seen that contradiction firsthand. And using that as a clue, we might have discovered the truth. The truth that the two houses, the two towers, are one vertical building! We've just gone over this so much, goddamn. The killer wanted to keep us from learning that, so they made us stay away from Strawberry Tower. They destroyed the button and wrapped the chain around the door just for that. Would it really have inconvenienced the killer if we had learned the true structure of the building? It would have been a major inconvenience. After all, this funhouse is strongly connected to the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru. Was it the elevator? Did the elevator kill him? Hmm. 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 I guess that's his luck. What, what if the elevator, like, he was on the second floor, it mm -hmm. fell, and that was a large thud? It was an elevator crashing into the floor? But then... He's chained to the pillar mm. so he can't go anywhere yeah but then like w i don't know though because then like the uh, fucking i don't know i don't what know if he was just in sleep mode he's just in sleep mode the whole time oh yeah he i he had to be in sleep mode uh man i'm also thinking who can like approach him yeah secretly I still think anybody could have done it. Because, like, their whole thing was, like, they're all going that morning for Monokuma Tai Chi. So Nekomaru could have, at, like, that point, you know, not been paying attention. Anyone could have gone behind him. It's who would have shown up for Monokuma Tai Chi, even if all the clocks are messed up, which that doesn't kind of... Yeah, it doesn't really help either. Fuck. What a pain. It's fine already. Good Gundam, damn. please could proceed. <laughs> <laughs> he just <grossed. laughs> You said earlier the Strawberry House and Grape House are connected vertically, right? If so, how does the contact elevator supposedly transport us from one house to the other? Yeah. Rather, much it, I completely forgot about that matter. That one is weird. I just don't understand the whole point of the contact elevator. If the elevator moves vertically. Then when your back is facing the elevator, both towers should be on the same side. But does this reflect reality? Mm. Inside Grape House, Grape Hall is on your own right, when your back is to the elevator. And inside Strawberry House, Strawberry Hall is on your left, when your back is to the elevator. 
which means the houses are on exact opposite sides of the tower. So maybe the elevator just rotates just to rotate. Like, fuck, I don't know. Like, why? I don't know. What else would the fucking compass, like, turn around for? I'm so confused. What does this mean? What does it mean? Hmm. If the two towers, uh, two houses are connected, vertically, the position of the tower should be the same in both houses. But in fact, yes, this is what he just said. <laughs> yes. Yeah, God damn it, Hajime. How can I break through this contradiction? Oh my God. Oh, it's an argument. Fuck. Okay. What are we going to have for this? Akane's account, Fihiko's account, contact elevator, Nagito's son of Pierre, there's a lot. Kazuichi's account, broken doorknob, strange feeling in the tower, I, that's not gonna be it. Uh, we're gonna have to actually read, contact elevator, I wanna read, oh wait! Wait, 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 uh, Kazuichi's account is here. I wanna see, is his account about using the compass? Cause that might be useful. Let's see, Kazuichi, where you at, my boy? Cuz, gotta already pass it, fuck. Oh yeah, here we go. Yeah, so the compass spins 180 degrees, so I feel like this might be the answer here. If not, I'm just gonna mm -hmm. be confused. Uh, the two houses are connected vertically. The elevator should move vertically. Okay, that's probably not where I use it. However, at both houses, if the contact elevator is behind you, yep, 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 we, we know. Uh, in the opposite direction, I don't know. It, which means Wasn't that it? Maybe, I didn't want to shoot immediately, I wanted to see what else we had. Uh, what's with the Iron Curtain of Teamwork? <laughs> Fucking Kazuichi's face. Okay, so there's only two things here. So, I'll throw mine in at, uh, Kazuichi's account at Sonia. Like, okay, okay. Behind you. Okay, so it's here. Ah, <sighs> fucker. Okay, no, not that one. Uh-huh. Hmm. Hajime, your back is getting scorched. What the fuck does that mean? Okay, okay, what else have we got? I mean, I could try Kazuichi's account on what Gundam says. I don't even think that would matter. Mm. Oh, that was it. Woo, it didn't feel like it worked, but I guess it's fine. <laughs> We're speeding through this trial by sheer luck. The elevator wasn't just moving vertically. Isn't that right? Kazuiki. Eh, me? You said to use the elevator while you're holding that compass Nakito gave you, right? Oh, no, that was a misunderstanding. It wasn't I was holding a compass, I was copping his ass. <laughs> From start to finish, somehow his dick pointed, rotated 180 degrees. What would a dick rotating 180 degrees be? Would that be it, like, moving like a rolling pin, or moving like, um... Like one of those, like, would it like, be moving at, uh, at the It's cake? like a snake turning around to look at you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Meaning, as the elevator moved between the two houses, it also rotated 180 degrees. I just, like, I understand why, you know, to be misleading, but, oh, that's how, okay, this is what I was wondering, like, how does that look? Okay. Only 3D animation in this game. I know. Okay. Oh yeah, I get it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. The left. Fuck it. Right size. Left size. An, elev an elevator that rotates while it moves. Is that even possible? It's like something from an amusement park, like a fun house. Yeah, a fun house is an amusement park attraction, you know, stupid. And since uh, the building doesn't really need to be structurally practical, it makes for some splendid fun. It's not splendid at all. You're inhuman, which is kind of an overstatement for this situation, but I just wanted to make a point that you're a dick. You say I'm inhuman, but I'm just a bear, so I was never human to begin with. I'm different from these lowly humans. So we're done with the secret of the funhouse, right? Let's start talking about the important stuff. What's the ultimate weapon that killed Nekomaru, and how did they combine it with the pillar? And how did Nagito recognize what the ultimate weapon was by looking outside? 
Because that was, like, how he realized, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Huh, you still don't know what the ultimate weapon is yet? It's what I found at the Octagon, you know. Wait, I'm thinking about the elevator now. Yeah. Do you think he was, like, tied to the door? What, the elevator only... The only the bottom moves? So it's not the room? Uh, yeah, the one that, like, where Nekomaru died. Yeah. This oh, is oh, so we were talking about the elevator that... Oh, I'm stupid. We can never mind. There's two different elevators. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh my, I can't believe I have to explain that now. As long as you know what an octagon means, you can solve this simple mystery easily. The ultimate weapon has to do with an eight-sided room. What the fuck? One oct... It's an, yeah, it's an eight-sided shape. So yeah. Yeah. An octagon has eight sides. <laughs> That's right, you've made it through elementary school. I didn't expect you to know that? What the fuck? Oh, I guess this could be perceived as him being mean because Hajime's a reserve student. For a substitute reverse course student, you're quite knowledgeable. I didn't know they taught basic fucking shapes to reserve course students. Hmm. Listen, I got lucky with that, okay? I guess I should continue listening. Where is the place befitting of the name Octagon? Uh, I don't know, the elevator? Oh no, it's this fucking circle. Um, place befitting the name Octagon. It's probably... Oh, jeez. Well, it can't be this, because this is a hexagon. It could be this? I mean, what else has eight sides? I don't know, let's see. This would be six. Well, it'd be six plus six. I'm just gonna pick the elevator, man. No. Oh, fuck. Which I actually have to figure out what has eight sides here. Uh, this is six. This is six. Oh, geez. I'm actually gonna fuck this one up, aren't I? Do you have an idea? Where the octagon would be? Yeah, he's like making a big whole deal. Oh, fuck. In the square. Oh. Oh, I'll just pick every. Shit. Oh, fuck. I'm gonna die. I mean. Uh, shit. Alright, Hajime died for that. This is the only one of these I've ever failed. I bet the answer is going to be something upsetting, too. Um. Yeah, I truly don't know. I actually have no fucking clue what they're talking about. I've, uh, I've also already clicked on, like, every clickable thing, I feel like. I guess, if anything, I should, like figure out, is there anything else I could even click on? It's like nothing outside. Um, rooftop wouldn't be any different from Strawberry House, I'm pretty sure. Elevator, I've already done that already. Fuck, man. I don't know. I, you know, I hate to say it, but I think we'd have to look this one up, because I just don't get, I don't, I don't know what it could be. I'm just gonna, <laughs> Pull out the old handy phone. What do you think it will be? I have no idea. You clicked where everything. Let's see. There is no stupid octagon. <laughs> That's what somebody said. Literally a pixel to the right of where the cursor starts. Think of shapes. Also think of where the final dead room is located. Uh, okay, the only reason it comes off as an issue is because the game leads you to assume that clicking that spot is just going to consider it as Grape House. So, something connected to Grape House? Let's see. Does anyone else just give an actual answer? Cut off the square from a hexagon equals oxagon? Oxagon, what the fuck? So, then, is it just talking about... Is it the just... top of Grape House. What? What the fuck does it mean? What the fuck? You're talking about the secret room surrounded by concrete and the deaths of the final dead room. Wait, he's just talking about the secret room itself? What? Yes. Why is that place the octagon? I mean, it was in the shape of an octagon, but I didn't even know where it was in relation to that image. You know how the four-sided strawberry house is on top of the six-sided grape house? I guess. 
Uh -huh. If you cut a four-sided shape out of a six-sided shape, you get eight edges. It becomes oh. an eight-sided shape. Oh, I see, but still... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, I see what they're talking about. That's just unfair. <laughs> That's just mean. The fuck? <sighs> fuck you, Nagito. That's basically the gist of it. How could nobody get it but me? I kind of see it now thinking back to like when we were Nagito in that room because it did have that kind of shape. But still. God damn. <laughs> The true identity of the octagon is that secret room in the depths of the final dead room. In actuality, that place contained various weapons. Then the ultimate weapon was there too? <laughs> That's a little different. I learned the true identity of the ultimate weapon at the octagon. Learn. It was you, Hajime. Oh, it's the fun house. The true identity of the ultimate weapon is the fun house. Which means the killer used the building structure as their weapon and killed Nekomaru. I care, all right. Uh, 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 like me, the killer probably realized the secret of the funhouse from the scenery. I mean. Nah, I don't know. <laughs> and then thought of a way to kill, making use of the building structure. I think the elevator is the only thing I can think of. That stretches up above, like, everything else is like, I don't know. Did he, like, hang Nekomaru? And then Nekomaru fell and hit the ground really hard? He hit the pillar first and then hit the ground? I don't know. It has to do something with the gravity. I, I yeah. thought that, like, in what I said earlier, the the tower fell. Yeah. The funhouse itself is the the weapon, so they killed using the building structure? That's why the killer tried to keep us from learning the mystery of the building. But more importantly, using the building itself as a weapon, such a spectacular crime. <laughs> it truly deserves to be called the ultimate weapon. What the fuck? The funhouse is the true identity of the ultimate weapon? What does this mean? How did the killer use that to murder Megamaru? Hung him from the doorknob? Oh yeah, because then, like, if he tied the wire to the doorknob, Nekomaru would have been hanging there, and maybe his weight popped it off? And that's how he fell, and then he hit the pillar on the way down? I don't know. Hitting what do you the, mean the weight popped it off? I don't know. Like, well, his leg you came. Hang it, well, like, if you just hang him, like, I guess it's strained and eventually popped off. Wouldn't it just pop off pretty quickly? Because, like, it wouldn't be able to hold all the weight? Is that how? Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I feel like that. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see. I'm so confused. And who did it? Who done it? 